Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Real Illusion Forum, AnimatorsForum.com. Uh, this morning, I'm going to do a little tutorial for, I feel like a, a, a brother from another mother who lives on another coast, about my same age, and we have so much in common. And he asked me a couple of questions, and I thought, well, I could, I could answer them maybe in the email, but maybe this will help some other people too. So anyway, we'll see. If it's, if it's not good, don't watch this. Uh, we're going to basically look at shoes this morning and then uh, one, one incident in uh, iClone about scene manager. So shoes, he's saying he's having trouble with some shoes that he can't convert to shoes, I guess. Um, here, here we are in Daz. If I exported these shoes, these are, the, uh, these are these casual sports sneakers attached to a female. And if I exported these shoes with the female, it would be really easy to bring in the character creator and we would get them as shoes, uh, most likely. We could, we could try that real quick. I actually haven't tried this particular part, but uh, if, I, if I try this real quick, I have no doubt that this would work properly, but I don't think that's where he's starting from. So we'll, uh, we'll show you the, the long way around all this. So here they are, they come in and they come in as shoes. Now all this type thing means when you bring them in via transformer is that this is how they're weighted. They're weighted as shoes, and that means that they will then conform as shoes. If you ever bring in shoes and they show up as, like, say, cloth, then you want to change them to shoes because shoes uh, deform a different way than cloth do on that. And they use, here's the skin template that it actually uses, okay? So that's one way, and that's one way that we... And if they ever come in, like, say, something else, like, say, cloth, and they use a default or whatever... Uh, then we could change them to shoes again if we brought them in incorrectly by going into the, um, uh, the mesh itself and, and applying weights, which we're going to do anyway, but I'm going to show you. But we'll cancel that out. We're not going to do that for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring them in as uh, accessories. So here's the default female. We're going to create. So what I did from Daz was not only did I save them as the FBX like we saw, but I also then took out, I, I unparented the, I'm, I'm doing this off screen. I unparented the shoes and then I uh, deleted the female. And then I just, uh, whoops, I deleted the whole female. And then I just exported these sneakers as OBJs. Okay, so that's another way of doing it. So uh, I figured that way we're starting off with what he has, either an OBJ or FBX something. So we're going to create an accessory from that. So I come in there and we're going to use the uh, sneakers OBJ. I could probably use the sneakers FBX. I've never actually tried that doing that. And so now they come in, but you'll notice that the first problem is that they come in position wrong. And so we'll show you how to, how to fix that too. That's, uh, that's all part of bringing something as an accessory and then converting it to, uh, to something we need. So we'll go to Edit Mesh. Really useful here. I always like the face and then I ignore back faces because I'm going to select the whole thing in here. So I'm going to select this whole shoe, and then you just press the controls that manipulate items, you know, with uh, rotation and whoops, <laughs> we didn't get the whole thing. Let's go back again. Uh, face, we got that. Okay, let's make sure we got everything here. Oh, we didn't take that off. You have to take that off to ignore back faces. Okay, got the whole thing selected. Well, that's instructive. That shows you that if you don't, if you don't ignore the back faces, then you're going to get uh, a stretching of the, of the things that you didn't select. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to just kind of get these eyeballed here a little bit. I'm not going to do a perfect job just yet because I want to get both of the shoes uh, in, in basically the right place. So we'll do that. I'm pressing the Q hot key, which is a, a quick key to be able to select everything. So I'm selecting it. And then I'm pressing the other, key, the other hot keys that allow me to manipulate and rotate and stuff. So uh, you can look up the hotkeys. And you might notice if you, if you uh, are, are moving it, this moves it on the plane, but you can also then reselect it, and then that, that uh, moves it exactly in world space instead. So we get it there, get this here, move this around, get it kinda, kinda sorta the way we want. And then I think I'm pressing the, uh, the X key, this is the viewpoint key, so we can see, and you can see that it's not, Selected properly there. So again, I'm selecting it, pressing the X key to move this around, pressing another hot key to do this, adjust this to her feet. Oops, I have a cat here. Every time I try to do a tutorial and I talk, the cat comes here and goes, you know, if you're going to talk, then you might as well talk to me because I am the cat. And yes, I know Julie. Yes, I know Julie. Julie just absolutely hates it when I, <laughs> when I talk to myself. 
I'm not talking to myself, Julie. I'm, I'm talking to people, which is even worse for her. She absolutely just can't stand that. Uh, move around here. We're getting close. I'm not going to spend a tremendous of time, amount of time on this because I don't want to uh, to waste. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now that's pretty good. It's it may not be perfect, but it's pretty good. There's there may be a little bit of heel issues here, but I could I could rotate it around and get there. I just don't want to spend a ton of time as I want to show you something. So so anyway, so now we're we've edited the mesh and let's let's assume that I've got it perfect. And of course, you know you can hide pieces like that skin that didn't. So now it's still an accessory. So we're going to transfer the skin weights and make it into a shoe. And by transferring the skin weights and choosing shoes, that makes it a shoe. And if we didn't do that, uh, I should have probably done that before and showed you what happened if we didn't do it. But if we didn't do that, it wouldn't conform properly. It would just be attached to the feet. So if the, if the actual toes bent, then it would not bend as a shoe. And you can always check off to make sure that, it's, that it is a legitimate shoe by going to a pose that might have a... Um, let's see if we can find a pose that might have the, the toes bent. Walking might have them bent, possibly. Uh, yeah, you can see. So you can see how the shoe has then bent a little bit on that side and followed the foot perfectly. Or let's see if we've got something place else where she might be bending her toes a little bit more. How about this one here a little bit? No, not bending toes yet. Well, anyway, I, th I think you get the idea that uh, that uh, that a toe there. There's a good thing. And of course, once again, I want to move that a little bit more so the heels properly. But so there's so now there's shoes. Okay. So then the other question that uh, my, my brother asked uh, was, let's, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply this to, oh, what happened? Oh, yes, Julie is now turning on. Hey, hey, stop that, stop that. Julius has now turned on Alexa. <laughs> my cat is just uh, crazy. Okay, well, <laughs> so the character, she, she, I don't even want to explain all that. She's my cat is turning on the uh, the electronics in the house by uh, stepping on them. I don't know if anybody else has that problem. Okay, so we're in the scene, uh, the iClone. I sent this over to iClone, and the other thing he wanted to know was, what is what's the difference between an object uh, in the scene manager and an and then an object in the modify? And so here we have the avatar that came over, and then these are all the sub items. So these are sub objects that are attached to that avatar. So that's one thing that you can see is whenever you have an object, then you can attach other things to that object. So here's sneakers that are part of that object, and we can turn them on and off, and, and so you can see that those are separate objects, but the shoelaces on that sneaker are not separate. They're part of that same object. And so when you go to modify, and you go up here in particular to the materials, the materials of that shoe are separate. So we could, if we sort these, for example, and we go to the laces on the right, the right foot. So now we've selected those laces as the material. That's, that's part of it, and that's what you can do with the modifier. I think he had a problem with boards, and I was gonna suggest that if, that if he can't, uh, you know, if he wanted to get rid of those, the easiest way would be go in and then just turn the op opacity all the way down. So now, now we've, we've eliminated those shoelaces on the left side. You can see the right side shoelaces are still there just by turning down the opacity on that item. Uh, but that's, again, a part of the texture. That's, it, it, the shoelaces themselves are all part of the shoe, and both shoes together are part of that same item. So if, for example, we wanted to have her just have one shoe, and we're in iClone, we could, we could do that in, in Character Creator. We could go ahead and do the, the edit meshes and do things here. But in iClone, in order to get just the one shoe, uh, we would want to, let's see... We would want to, I don't know if I can, I'm trying to figure out if I can sort these by R, but I can't do that. We'd have to go into all of the, uh, to the ones that are, that are, say, on the right side here. Do this real quick. And there. And then we can turn down the opacity on all of those. So we could, we could just, we could just take our shoe off. So essentially what I'm saying is that, that by controlling things through materials, you can uh, delete things off of off of something that's wall on set, but that's really it's kind of a kludge. It's not really uh, they aren't not deleted. They're still there, and you might say, well, what difference does that make? It really doesn't. You know, in animation, what you see is what's important, and it doesn't matter if you trick things into what's seen. So in this particular case, 
there's really no problem with, with making them opaque and that gets rid of them. And that he could do that with the boards on his gym floor if he, if he needed to, and that would be a way to do that. So hopefully this answers both his questions and hopefully this is some help to other people. And if not, uh, let me know what you'd like me to do and I'll see you around on the forums.